Life is hard and exhausting. The lethargic day repeats itself. I'm losing confidence and I doubt if this is my way. People around me seem to be living well without worrying, so they are getting comparable and shabby. How shall I do it? Butler advises on these concerns. Do whatever you feel is worthwhile with all your heart. No one can save you but yourself, and you alone must walk the path. If you do not change direction, you may end up where you're headed. Carry the pride of a mountain, but humble yourself like a blade of grass lying low. Don't lose faith and hope because miracles happen every day. Prove yourself to yourself, not to others. The person who thinks they can do anything can do anything. The reason a person who has failed cannot rise again is due to their arrogance. Similarly, a successful person may not be able to maintain their success due to their arrogance. Do not forget that the joy in times of happiness is not everlasting and the pain in times of suffering is not forever. Nothing in this world is permanent. Being entangled in the past becomes a burden in your heart and brings pain. No matter how difficult the past was, you can always start again. The past is just the past. Let bygones be bygone. Everything is based on the mind, led by the mind and formed by the mind. If you speak and act with a polluted mind, suffering will follow you, just as the wheel of the ox follows the hoofprints of the ox. Everything we are is the result of what we have thought. If you understand how powerful your thoughts are, you will never think negatively. Our appearance today is derived from our thoughts of yesterday, and our thoughts of today build our life of tomorrow. Our life is a creation of our mind. If you want to become strong, learn to be alone. Torturing yourself by comparing with others will rob you of the joy of life. Don't compare yourself to others. Just like the sun and the moon can't be compared, everyone shines in their own way. Like a solid rock is not shaken by the wind, wise people are not shaken by praise or blame. Nothing can harm you as much as your own thoughts. Seek your own salvation. Never depend on others. Holding on to anger is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. A person who decides to live for the mind and soul is like someone bringing a lamp into a dark house. No matter how hard and difficult it is, if you do not give up and overcome, your soul will become brighter. It's not pain that's holding you. It's you holding on to the pain. Greed brings a lot of pain. Pain is a choice. Like an archer craftsman straightens an arrow, a great person adjusts their wayward thoughts. What leads people down the wrong path is not the enemy, but their own mind. Be your own lamb. Be your own refuge. Don't look for anything else. It all will pass. Work hard and do not give up. If you can't find someone to support you on the spiritual path, walk it alone. The Buddha only points the way. You must make the effort yourself. Walking and struggling alone, those who suppress with their own power will find joy in the solitude of the forest. Everything in the world has its own appropriate time. You should not rush too much nor be too late. One moment can change a day, one day can change a life, and one life can change the world. Meditate. Don't delay so you won't regret later. 
carry out every act as if it were the last. The distance between dreams and reality is action. Do what you have to do today diligently. Who knows, death may come tomorrow. Every morning, we are born again. What we do today is the most important. Every day is a lucky day for a diligent person. You read many holy words quotes, but what's the use if you don't act? Do not dwell on the past. Do not dream of the future. Focus on the present. He who rules himself is greater than he who rules the world. Patience is one of the hardest disciplines, but the final victory is for those who are patient. All life involves unavoidable suffering. The kind of pain we experience is a natural part of our existence. As we begin to acknowledge that pain is a natural part of us, we will fall back into happiness. If you can't control your mind, it will control you. What shakes is your eyes. What pulls the bowstring is your hand. Doubting whether you can hit the target is your mind. The target is always in its place. There are two things that interfere with our lives. One is not finishing anything, and the other is not starting anything. The real enemy lives within us. Anger, attachment, greed, hatred. Sometimes you can win by losing, and sometimes you can lose by winning. Thinking you know is ignorance, and thinking you don't know is knowledge. Life is like a harp string. If you tighten it too much, it won't play. If you loosen it too much, it won't make a beautiful sound. Praise and blame, gain and loss, joy and sorrow come and go like the wind. If you want to be happy, rest among them like a large tree. The two extremes that humans should avoid are indulgence in pleasure and indulgence in asceticism. Be silent like a mute, speak like a king, be cool like cold eyes, and be hot like fire. Endure adversity and overcome it, and be careful when things go well. Those who do not know satisfaction are poor even if they are wealthy, and those who know satisfaction are wealthy even if they are poor. Everything in this world is in vain, so do not struggle to possess it, and do not suffer thinking it is like this. Buddha told us that we should always live in a place suitable for our station. Diligently accumulate merit from early on, exercise restraint, and live rightly to become the person we aspire to be. We should be satisfied with small things, possess humility, and avoid attachment to those close to us. Buddha said that although life is painful, there is indeed happiness and we can escape from it. He also stated that the origin of much of our suffering comes from various types of attachments. So how can we have inner peace through Buddha's teachings? First, everything depends on how we perceive phenomena, and our actions bring results. Joy comes to those who are without greed and are free from the reproach of conscience. It is an important achievement not to respond to anger with anger, and he advised to focus on oneself rather than others. The ability to see oneself clearly. Also, not to depend on others. It seems that inner peace begins from looking into one's own mind, recognizing desires and attachments. When we stop seeking validation from others, become free from the pain of life, our thoughts and words will become reality. Thanks for watching.